to start talking about products and services and the technologies associated with producing them. Every industry has a basic underlying technology that dictates the nature of its transformation process, how it goes about creating its products and services. Two developments have strongly influenced the operations of many businesses, computers and robo robotics. Computers have been used for decades on a relatively large scale since IBM introduced its 650 in the late 1950s. The operations function makes great use of computers in all phases of the transformation process. For example, computer-assisted design helps engineers design components, products, and processes on the computer instead of using paper. CAD, Computer Aided Design, is used in 3D printing as well. CAD software is used to develop a 3D image and then the CAD file is sent to the printer. The printer is able to use its layers of use layers of liquid powder, paper, or metal to construct a 3D model. Computer assisted manufacturing, CAM, goes a step further employing specialized computer systems to actually guide and control the transformation processes. Such systems can monitor the transformation process, gather information about the equipment and the product, that's the equipment and, and, and things that are used to produce the products, and also about the product itself as it goes through various stages of the transformation process. Another important technology is called flexible manufacturing and in, in this model computers can direct machinery to adapt to different versions of the product depending upon what is being built in this particular stage of the cycle for example instructions from an instructions from the computer one machine can be programmed to carry out its functions for several different versions of an engine that is being put into an automobile as that car is moving down the production line, it doesn't need to shut off production and change events. It just makes different engines or different models of the car based upon how the computer is programmed. Robots are also becoming increasingly useful in the transformation. These steel collar workers, as they're sometimes called uh, because they're robots, have become particularly important because industries such as nuclear power, Hazardous waste, hazardous waste disposal, ocean research, and space construction and maintenance are examples where using these new robotic technologies actually save human lives and reduce risks to human, human health. With all of these technology, CAD CAM, as it's called, computer-aided design, computer-aided manufacturing, CAD CAM, flexible manufacturing, robotics and computer systems, and then more, these are all put together in what's called Computer Integrated Manufacturing, or CIM, a complete system that designs products, manages machines and materials, and controls the operations function. Companies adopt SIM in, to, the, in an effort to boost their product, productivity, the quality of their products, and reduce costs. As you can imagine, the skills needed to operate and to run a computer integrated manufacturing facility are quite different than the traditional skills where one uses a screwdriver or some other physical tool. In this case, you are using computers to generate the manufacturing process and the manufactured products. Another important area in today's manufacturing facility is sustainability in manufacturing. This is manufacturing and operating systems that look to support the sustainability in the environment. That is minimizing the negative impacts that manufacturing processes can have on the natural environment. Some of the issues include the pollution of land, air, and water and reducing those by the manufacturing process, some climate change issues, waste management, deforestation, urban sprawl, protection of biodiversity, and the uh, production of genetically modified foods. Green operations and manufacturing can improve a firm's reputation along with its customer and employee's loyalty, leading to improved profits. A company that is perceived to be a good corporate citizen 
is perceived to be a better place to work and the sort of company that consumers increasingly choose to purchase products and services from. Patagonia is an example of this. They're an outdoor clothing company. Uh, they're always looking for a greener way to design, produce, and recycle products. The company's mission statement is to build the best products, cause no unnecessary harm, and use business to inspire and implement solutions to environmental crises. Do you think that sustainable practices attract and keep customers? Something to think about, and to what degree? Will it affect where you choose to work? Next lecture, we'll talk about supply chain management.